function. This is the same application as what we did with equations. Once again, remember that with equations and functions is kind of the same thing. I wrote these with y so you can see the similarities here. We're looking for a couple things. One, cannot have an exponent greater than one. one. That would be a nonlinear function. Um, also, there's certain things. You have to be able to write it in slope-intercept form. You cannot have an exponent greater than one. As long as it passes those two things, it's linear. So to determine if any function is linear, we must remember that for a function to be linear, we must be able to write it in slope-intercept one, and this is all the other things. Cannot be an exponent greater than one. X and Y variables cannot be multiplied by each other. Also, also, if there is any division involved, you cannot have the x on the bottom of the division. So we'll go through these as a class, just the same time. Do we think this is linear? Yes or no? Yes. yes. There's no exponent greater than one. It's in solve intercept form. That is linear. We can just write linear or nonlinear. You can always write in the rest of this later. Okay. All right. The next one. What do you think? Linear or nonlinear? Non-linear. Non non-linear. And here's why. Yes, that's a variable. Yes, that could be oh. one, but couldn't that also be two yeah. or three or four? So because of the possibility that could be greater than one, that makes this non-linear. The exponent could be greater than one. You wanna know where I got these? Directly from the state's FSA website. So a question like this, show up here on your state test. I got their numbers directly from their stuff. Now, what about this? Do you think this is linear? No. No, no because of division and the X is on the bottom. bottom. If the X is on the top, it could be linear. It could be, but the X is on the bottom, non-linear. What about this one? Nope. Nope, why? Because it has an exponent greater than one. Because it has an exponent greater than one. Non-linear exponent is two. What about this one? Linear or nonlinear? It is linear. The y-intercept is four, and then class. I want you to pause for a second and look up here. Looking at this equation, what is the slope for this? One. No? One. Zero. The slope is zero. Why is it zero? Oh, y equals If I have one. So y equals four. So we go to one, two, three, four. We put a dot. There's no slope here. Do you see an x? No. Which means that, let me ask you a question. If you say the slope is one, wouldn't that change this? But if I say the slope is zero, anything times zero is equal to zero, that would cancel, and the zero slope wouldn't change it. So we put a dot at y equals four, and then it's just a horizontal line. Is that linear? Yeah. Yes, it's a straight line. It's horizontal, but it is in fact linear. Okay, so linear can be written y equals one to be where slope is zero. And then what about this last one? Would this be linear, yes or no? Yes, it would be. Yes. Here's why. Let's ask you a question. Do you see an exponent greater than one? No. No. And couldn't I just move the two x over to the other side? Yeah. Using inverse operations? I absolutely could. And this would become y equals negative two x plus four. You'll see this in more detail in the next module. Just know right now that because there's no exponent here, it doesn't break any of the rules. All you have to do is move that two x over. It can be rewritten in y equals mx plus b four. What's up? Why did you change it to negative two? Well, here's what happens. Let's look at this. Let's go to 2x plus y is equal to, what was it, 4? Yeah, 4. 4. So if I draw my line and I want to write this in slope-intercept form, I use an inverse operation. What's the opposite of a positive 2x? Negative 2x. So if I subtract 2x from both sides, this cancels, and I get y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. Is that in slope-intercept form now? Yes, with a y-intercept of 4 and a slope of negative, negative 2. Good. Remember, it's not negative 2x, it's just okay. negative 2. Okay, so looking at graphs real quick, let's just go. This should be easy for you guys. Let's go to GWA. Is this linear, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Straight line, that is linear. Pretty simple. Mr. Meza, top right. Is that linear, yes or no? No. This is linear. I didn't ask you if it's a function, I asked you if it's oh, linear. Is no. this a linear function? These are all functions. We're looking for linear, straight line. So this is a function, but it is not linear. Non-linear. Okay. Um, Mael, right here. Is this linear or non-linear? Non-linear, pretty straightforward. It's a function, but it is non-linear. Dante Jackson, Yay. the one to the right of that. Okay. Is that linear or non-linear? Linear. That's linear, we just dealt with that one. Y equals four. 
So that is in fact linear. Okay. Thank you. Um, Maria, linear or nonlinear? Nonlinear. Good job. And then Autumn Davis, last one, linear or nonlinear? Linear. It is in fact linear. And if you look carefully, Aren't these all the ones that we just did on the previous page? Yeah. Yes, they are. Right here, right here, right here, right here. It's all the same ones. It just shows you what they look like when they're graphed. Any questions on this? Okay. Yeah, what's up? What happens if there's two straight lines, like an X? If it's two straight lines, like an X? Yeah, like That would be two different equations. They'd both be, if it was two straight lines, it'd be two separate linear functions. Right? Because it's two separate lines. If it was the same line, something like this, one, two, that's the only way you could make it. You couldn't make an X with one line. You couldn't. There's nothing that you can graph that would go up, come back, come all the way around and do that. Question. And if you what can about, find something like that, that make bottom, that your doctoral thesis. What about the bottom left hand? What happened? No, that goes like this. Oh, because I see. Uh, ooh, yeah. ooh.